Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I am really excited to be back with another luxury bag review. I feel like I haven't done a luxury bag review in so long, even though I have added to my collection since the last time we actually had another review. But if you guys are interested, make sure you guys watch my entire designer bag collection. I do need to do an updated one. I also have reviews existing already, including for the Dior Caro bag. I also have it for the Gucci Marmont, the Prada re-edition in leather. I also have it for the Chanel wallet. And I think that is it at the moment, but I will always be sure to add a review every time I use another luxury product. But in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, the bag that we are reviewing today is the Fendi Baguette. And this one is in the mini size. And this is also in the color white. So if you guys are interested in this bag, I'm going to be going through the things I love about the bag, the things I don't like about the bag, and whether or not the money is worth it and going through kind of like a price comparison with this bag and kind of like other bags that are sort of similar. So without any further ado, let's get this video started. Starting with the features of the bag, I want to go through what this bag actually has and entails. So the first thing is that the baguette is a flap bag. So the leather that this bag has is very malleable. I don't know if you can see the way that I'm touching it. It is very flexible, so therefore you can hold more things. It's very soft as well. If you guys can see here, like it is kind of puffy and squishy, so it makes it very nice to feel, very comfy, and it just has more fluidity to it than some of the other bags. And I will be telling you kind of the bag that I was personally comparing this bag to in terms of debating between which one to get. Inside the bag, you have a few card holder spots and obviously your classic just area for you to put your main things but really the only area that has compartments is for your cards unlike some other bags this bag does not have a compartment in the back it does come with a handle and a chain. So the chain can be worn in a couple different ways. The way that you see that I have it here is obviously so that it is comfortable around my shoulder, but you can actually unhook this here and make it longer like so. So as you can see, if you hook it here, then you can have it as a crossbody bag or you can double loop this so that it becomes a shoulder bag. There is also a top handle to this bag, which can be removed as well. So if you don't like your shoulder bag or your crossbody bag to have this handle, then obviously you can remove the handle and just have it as such. And same thing, alternatively, if you guys didn't like to have the gold chain, if you want to hold your bag like this, whether you want to hand carry or even put it on your arm, you can do so. So I really like the versatility of this bag because obviously you can worn it in a couple of different ways. But now that we have gone through what this bag kind of looks like, let's go directly into what I like and don't like about the bag. What I love about the bag is honestly, for me, number one, it is very, very proportionate to my personal body size and my use cases. So for once again, I'm 5'1". So because of this, the mini is actually so perfect relative to my body. I feel like anytime I go to a bigger size, especially when I tried this one in a bigger size, it really drowned me out. So I really like the proportion of this bag to my body. The second thing is that based on the size, even though it's called a mini, it actually does fit a lot of stuff. So I left a few things in here to show you what I have put in here, but as you can see, I'm able to put all my essential cards, my credit card, my health card, my driver's license, etc. I can also put in a hand sanitizer, a few lip products, and this is even a powder for my face when I'm on the go. And I also have lipstick, perfume, and I actually earlier had my keys in here as well. Even with all of these items in here, there is still some space for you to put some other things. So from a practicality perspective, this bag honestly does hold a lot of stuff. So if you guys are not watching my video for the first time, you will know that I am all about practicality. And if you are new here, then one of my biggest things when it comes to luxury bags is that no matter how pretty or how much of an it bag it is, for me, the biggest importance is I'm a bag 
user. So I, I'm not one of those people that just collect bags only to resell them at a higher value later on. I actually use my bags and you can see the life of the bag being used. I think this really ultimately comes down to who you are as a person, knowing yourself and knowing what makes you excited or not excited, etc. Because I feel like there's some people who, if there's a scratch on their bag, that actually really bothers them and that's not a good experience for them. So if that is your case, then, you know, these are some of the things that you have to think about and maybe it's not as important in terms of practicality for you. But for me, I'm not someone who cares as much if my bag gets scratched obviously still ideal for it to not get scratched but for me because i know i actually utilize my bags i have a i guess like concept in my brain where it's like it's okay if you start seeing the life and the scars from your life onto your bag because that is okay anyway that being said i feel like from a practicality perspective if you are someone like me this bag is definitely very 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 practical so that is another reason i really like it the next reason i really like this bag is because like i said the number of use cases if we really were to count the different ways you can wear this bag from the handle alone there are two ways you can wear it you can hold it or you can put it on your wrist that's two from the strap you can wear it just over like this and long that's another one you can wear a crossbody that is another one if you want to wear it as a shoulder bag that is another way so that is already five ways then if you want to include keeping the top handle on or off etc then you can have all the different iterations of wearing it as well one of the things that i also love about this bag is that i actually love kind of the material and just how flexible it is when the bag looks really rigid and you're wearing certain outfits i feel like it doesn't flow with the outfit as much but because of the material of this bag i feel like no matter what outfit that i'm wearing it always really looks good with this bag and because of the size of this bag and the color i find that this bag depending on how how you're styling it probably more either shoulder bag or on a top handle you can really wear this to any type of like formal occasion as well and wear it as kind of like an evening gown bag rather than just a daily classic bag which also reminds me actually another way to wear this is if you take everything off and you can just hold it as a clutch then that can be a very very nice evening wedding dress bag that you can wear with this as well going on to what I don't like about it this will not be relevant if you're not getting the white but the white bag that I have I feel like it definitely does get dirty very easily you can see it even from here you can see the darkness that it has gotten you can also sort of see it's not as white as when I first got it you can see some discoloration here I personally don't wear a lot of dark denim, but I feel like if you are someone who does wear dark denim, I can definitely see the possibility of a color transfer onto your bag. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. For the people that really care about the hardware being scratched as well, it is shiny hardware. So this can easily be scratched. If you even look at mine, I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up, but you can see some scratches. And once again, this is going to be up to your preference, your use case, etc but I don't even think that this is really a collector's item anyway so I feel like if you are looking into this bag and if you're even watching this video I'm going to probably assume that you're going to really use the crap out of this bag and what I mean by a collector bag is Hermes or Chanel that you are expecting to see the price going up significantly year over year so the reason why I say this also is because I bought this bag almost a year and a half ago and this bag I purchased purchased it at 1,850 euros and as of today the price is exactly the same because I got it in Spain so I looked at the website in Spain and it is still exactly the same price whereas when I look at the price comparison of the Prada re-edition when I got it then and what it is today the price has gone up significantly I want to say it has gone up almost $600 Canadian so definitely you are able to see very quickly which bags are investable I guess if you want to resell it later on or not this bag personally I feel like is going to be something that you should wear and you probably will wear and honestly I really think it is a bag that is worth really just wearing it is so practical like I said and there are so many use cases that being said I really want to talk about price at this point so like I mentioned I bought this at 
1850 euros. I honestly think if you're watching this video, it is very dependent on where you're living and where you're buying slash if you have any travel plans coming up. And the reason why I'm saying this is because personally as a Canadian, this bag is currently being sold for $2,890 Canadian. And even if we were to convert my 1850 euros to Canadian, it still ends up being only 2,600 something and you still get some of that back from your VAT if you are buying it in Europe. So you can already see that the price is going to be significantly cheaper in terms of a few hundred dollars. So if you have a chance to buy this abroad, I definitely recommend that versus buying it in your home country. However, if you are going to buy it in your home country, even just looking at the price, of what it is, $2,890. A comparable bag I would sort of compare this with would maybe be the Prada Re-Edition only because the reason why it reminds me of the Prada Re-Edition is because it comes in multiple colors. It also has a lot of similar use cases. You would be kind of using it kind of in the same ways and there's also so many varieties of you wearing the bag and if you look at the Prada re-edition that one is also priced at $3,100 whereas this one is priced at $2,890 and we are speaking in Canadian dollars here. So I feel like the price is pretty comparable. If you wanna go up a price range, another similar bag that I would kind of compare this to is the Caro bag that I have. That one is from Dior, but the price point at that point goes up really, really high. So I feel like for what this bag is, I truly, truly do think that it is worth it in around the range that it is at because one of the reasons the Prada re-edition and you guys are welcome to take a look at the review that I have for that bag as well is that as a first-time bag it has so many different uses I really think you get the bang for your buck if you were talking in terms of a luxury purchase and I can see this as well for this bag you guys can see from my Instagram the number of ways I have worn this bag I've worn it with casual brunches I have worn it to a little bit more formal events I also have worn it to just any like summer casual outfit or even formal outfit that is more light and just airy i feel like i always trend towards this bag which kind of brings me to the next point if you are also thinking about getting this bag i either recommend looking into the classic print but for the classic print i might actually consider the upper size instead of the mini but if you're looking at the mini i really would consider black or especially white i've seen a lot of people with the white and i think this is really the color of choice if you are going to get the baguette in the mini and the reason i say this is because in my collection and i've had this disclaimer before in my previous videos for me and my luxury collection i really like to have a very big variety of colors and also use cases so i haven't reviewed it yet but in terms of black bags, I was very sure to get a black bag for every day, a black bag for more formal occasions, as you can see the Prada Clio up there with the sparkles. And I just like to have my use cases sort of spread out because I am not someone who is yet, I mean, hopefully one day, who has the disposable income as of right now to buy, you know, like a really funky looking bag just because I really, really need to understand the type of outfits that I have and what needs to go with it. And I find that when it came to my collection, I realized I really, really needed a white bag because even though the Dior Caro was a bag that I was using all throughout the summer, it looked great in white outfits. I feel like sometimes when it comes to color, it was a little bit trickier. So for example, I have a picture on Instagram of me wearing the Dior Caro in a yellow dress. And although that is still a great pairing and it is still Still super nice I feel like a more classic look that I would have gone for if I were to wear the same outfit again would be to pair it with my white Fendi baguette just because that way my dress I could probably have the yellow stand out more and grab the attention and then have my white bag and maybe my white heels sort of match that way so I realized a white bag, even if you aren't planning on getting the Fendi baguette, I really truly do believe that you do need a white bag in your life. So make sure you get one, especially in sort of a more 
smaller size, like not so much like a tote size, just because I find that when you're going for summer brunches or even summer weddings, a white bag is really, really going to be such a staple in your closet. One of the things that I do want to talk about since we are talking about color is that when it comes to having a white bag, it's honestly really for you to manage your expectations because really the only con that I had about this bag was the color transfer. And the reason why I said it doesn't really bother me that much is because I think that this is going to be a problem you're going to encounter with any white bag. So two of my friends have the mini Jody in white. So that's the Bottega bag. And that one, they say the exact same thing. They're like, we love it, but the color, it just, you know, it gets dirty very easily. So I don't think this is something you can escape. So I feel like either you just don't get white or I feel like if you're going to get a white bag, you're going to have to manage your expectations and sort of expect that there's going to be color transfer onto the bag at some point or another. Obviously, there are things that you can do also to make this bag a little bit more clean, like constantly just like wiping it with the right cloth. You can also bring it in to Fendi if you guys want to, to have it looked at and if you're unhappy with the color transfer. But otherwise, I really think that a white bag really is essential in your closet. And I think that this one is a really great choice. So the one that I was debating between was actually two Dior bags. I'm going to show you pictures right here. I actually wore this and I was actually going back and forth between the stores on the street of, in Barcelona, just trying to figure out which bag I wanted to get. And ultimately, this one was just so much better for your bang for your buck and I just feel like when I went through all the luxury houses on that street I just couldn't find a white bag I liked more than this one so if you're in the market for a white luxury bag for the use cases that I've stated earlier I really think that this one is a really great choice but like I said I would definitely prioritize seeing if you can go somewhere where you can buy it for a little bit cheaper whether it's Hawaii or even Europe but if you can't, then even at this price point, a lot of the comparables are very, very similar. So that is definitely something you can consider. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.